Um, one, one thing I want to do first, I could just call this a brush, and people sometimes people ask me what I mean about that. It's just a part of your, your typical... Um, your typical boom chicka lick, your bum ditty. Some people are like more picky with it. Some people are more brushy. So what I like to do, not all the time, because it's a little too harsh sounding, but in certain pieces, you know, certain times in a, in a piece of music that you're doing, it, it's nice to get a little, you can kind of rest almost for a few beats with this real kind of harsh, sharp brush. And, uh, and really, you know, the person who I, I first saw this do as a kid that, it, that locked into my mind was, was uh, the great banjoist George Gibson of Knott County, Kentucky. He kind of does, has this real flicky way with his fingers, and you can see his hand opens all the way when he's, when he's down picking at certain points. So I kind of picked that up over the years. Um, difference there um, it's it's subtle but I, I, th I feel like it's worth noting is like if you're just doing sort of your regular relaxed you know stroke lift down picking see the I'm really letting these three fingers really jut out so that's what I'm talking about when I say like a brush like real go, go through a sort of a brushy part of the of the song so the next thing you know if it once you can you can you get that get your hand open like damn that's one thing I want to I want to touch on real quick a lot of people I see you know you've people have their their hands in these what sort of looks like uncomfortable positions um, and sort of keeping it real rigid and stuff and if that works for you that's great go for it keep doing it but maybe explore you know just re really relaxing your hand more and letting your fingers kind of open and come back it's not gonna hurt your you know your your stroke open that hand up you know okay and refer to a video I posted about hand and finger stretches last year so walking the fingerboard is something I, I want I want to jump on real quick here <clears throat> excuse me um, kind of stuff all I'm doing is taking the backs of of my fingernails mostly these three going down with it and then there's a couple of th ways you can do it I'm real lazy about it I just come up with all the balls of my fingers all the time to sort of guide me you'll see my, my thumb is going back to the thumb string every time so So that, that kind of helps me, you know, maintain, get better accuracy with it and be able to do, you know, emphasize different sort of angles of that. Kind of can be a real beautiful thing to do as like a, a sort of a, a break from the regular picking. So all I'm doing is just, I'm just basically simplifying what would normally be this. Sort of just a two two stroke up and down brush thing. Yeah. So it's real simple. I'll try experimenting with that one. Another one we can do if we have time. Let's get into Rufus Crisp and his double shuffle. This is something that I didn't, I originally learned from George Gibson, but George turned me on to some other recordings. And uh, one person I know who definitely does this technique is, is Rufus Crisp. <laughs> so you see what I'm doing there? I'm, I'm plucking strings up here while I'm actually picking a different string with my right hand. So my left hand is up here making a little chord shape, second string at the second fret, first string at the third fret, and I can be sitting there picking the third string with my right hand and constantly plucking off with my ring finger. So that's in Rufus. 
Memphis Crisp, even on, on his record, he explains how he does that. I mean, how you take this lick, the standard, to the double shuffle. All that is is... So if you want to see more about that, most people call that alternate string pull-off or an open string pull off. When you're, when you're hitting, you're actually playing with your right hand a third string, but then you're, you're plucking off with your left hand on the second string. So you get alternate string pull off. So look that up.